These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We've got a really great PS4 tutorial today, and we're going to show you how to use Excellent Kai, the latest release build that is compatible with the PS4. So it doesn't matter if you're jailbroken or not, running CFW or not, you can use this program to play LAN enabled games, certain games online using this program. It's pretty cool. So in my particular case, I'm using PS4, it's running 5.05, .05. I am running a payload to jailbreak it, so to speak, and I've tested Black Ops 3, which we'll showcase today, it's pretty awesome. So on the computer side of things, um, if you're a jailbroken user, for example, I'm running the Alazif web exploit host in the background here, so my PS4 does have its DNS settings um, tied to my PC from that standpoint to run the payloads, so we're good from that standpoint. But let me show you where to get the software first of all. So if you go to teamxlink.co.uk at this website, go ahead and make an account and all that good stuff. And then go to downloads, download the latest version right here, download it and install it. And then before you get too far, let me talk about my network setup. So in my particular case, my PC is connected to my router through wireless. I have an ethernet cord from the back of my PC to my PS4, which is nearby. And then on my PS4, I basically go to the network settings and do custom setup, wired ethernet, auto detect IP address. For the DNS, I set it as my IP address for this computer basically. Um, if you have to put in the gateway, that's your router IP address. And something to mask, I put like 255.255.0.0. So we'll see that more in the video tutorial later on. So that's the network side on the PS4 and my computer. And last but not least, if you go to control panel, there's a section called network and sharing center. So if you go to change adapter settings, I have the Wi-Fi and the ethernet, right click, click on bridge and then bridge the connection. If you have a different setup, let's say PC to router, console to router through wired ethernet, that also works as another alternative as well. Okay, so let's do this. So you got the program downloaded and installed. So let's go ahead and run the program. It's called Start Kai. Say yes. Right now, my PS4 is connected. I've done all the network settings stuff, which I'll showcase later in this video tutorial. And let's go to metrics here. So you know everything is working. If you go to metrics, scroll down, you should see a PlayStation 4. It should be like this. You should see a found console. This is a good sign, actually. If you need to do any kind of port forward, there is a section here where you, you know, it tells you what port you can forward. I think it's like 30,000 right here. So here's some instructions here, or you can go to the forum too for additional details. Luckily for me, I did not have to do any kind of port forwarding yet. I did not have to disable my firewall yet, but uh, so far everything's good. I was able to join the game and later on in the future, I'm gonna try hosting my games as well. But basically you go to game arenas over here on the left-hand side, go to PlayStation 4. And then here we see that currently there's a Black Ops 3 Arena. And Mr. Peanut is in here. He's hosting a game. So all you got to do right now at this point is literally, you know, on your PS4, run your hand payload if you're using a jailbroken PS4. If you're not, just start your game. And assuming that everyone is on the same game version, like I'm on version 1.0 for my Black Ops 3, for example, I was able to find his land game pretty easily, so I'll showcase in the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're on the PS4, so let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is log in onto my PS4, log into my local account. And since I'm running 5.05, .05, let me show you how to do the network settings. So we go to network, set up internet connection, land cable, custom, automatic, do not specify, DNS is my PC IP address for the LZ host, basically. So next, automatic, and just keep on going and test it. So obtain IP address will be successful. Interconnection, it will say failed. So momentarily we'll see that. And then after it has failed, you can just basically exit out, exit out, all the way back to the main menu. And you can go to your user's guide and go through the rest of the process. So hopefully it's not too much longer. If it is, I'll just skip forward accordingly. All right, so let's go back. So now let's go to user's guide and 5.05 hen. Sweet. And let's run the game. So on my PC, I have excellent Kai. I'm in the, in the lobby. I know someone else is hosting, so that's a good sign there. Metrics looks good, that's excellent. 
and uh, we're good to go. All right, so we're going to load the player profile. Okay, so press start and go to find land game. And here we go. Mr. Peanut is hosting a game. So just press X and you're good to go. Sweet, we're in the game and there we go. I'm not experiencing any lag. It seems to be pretty good. I know he's in the USA just like I am. So I have no issues just running around. I don't know where he is exactly. Uh, but anyways, uh, what we're going to do is in the next portion of this video tutorial, I'm going to be hosting a game actually. I'll show you how that works. And we're going to be hosting zombies. And it should be a pretty simple process. So with that said, let's tr jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're hosting zombies. Basically, just go to the zombies menu, say start game, and just sit here and wait. So Mr. Peanut has joined the game. And to help with the loading screen times, I'll sort of cut forward or, or um, fast forward, basically. I don't think this is a dream. All right, sweet. We're in the game. It's working great. Um, what can what more can you ask for? So hopefully, uh, we get more players joining Excellent Kai once they hear more about this solution. I think it's awesome. So if you're may on the band PS4 for whatever reason, uh, may you're running custom firmware. Hopefully. Uh, you can join the network and play with us as well. I don't know if like updated users like 6.2 you can play with 5.05. .05. I guess we'll have to find out and see if that works. But for sure, at least the solution works. It's awesome. And that's all I got for today. So you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.